Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where today we will be taking a look at the Era 3 Premium, the Object 490 Topol. Two Topol, Topol, Topol. I'm just going to say 490 for the rest of this video because I don't want to butcher that anymore. <laughs> right, so for those of you that are short on time, here is my quick overview. The 490 is the current Ultimate Season Pass tank. So if you buy the Ultimate Season Pass for 6,000 gold, you will get the 490. And when you consider that it really isn't too bad, it is well worth getting for the tiny price of 6,000 gold. And you might be thinking, why do I say tiny price of 6,000 gold? Bricky, 6,000 gold is quite a lot for some of us. Yeah, I understand that can be a lot of gold for some people, but the reason I say tiny price is because this is an era three premium. The KWS was the era three premium released before this one, and its base price was 17,000 gold. So keep that in mind, the difference in cost between the previous era three premium and this one is 11,000 gold, which is almost, the difference is almost double the asking price for the 490. So that is why I say a tiny price of 6,000 gold. You can't go wrong with an era 3 premium that costs only 6,000 gold. It's not an amazing tank, but it is certainly not terrible by any stretch. I would recommend that you get this tank. It is not going to let you down. All right, let's take a look at the 490 in a little more detail and compare it to one of its premium counterparts. For this comparison, I have chosen the Leclerc prototype, the P-Cells, and all of the stats are going to be listed as these tanks not having crews or equipment in them. Okay, so the 490 has 606mm of penetration on standard rounds, 697mm on gold rounds, and 155mm on secondary rounds. The standard and gold will do an average of 550 alpha, while the secondary will do 690. Comparatively, the P-Cells, which I will call the PS, the PS has 633mm of penetration on standard rounds, 700mm on gold rounds, and 150mm on secondary rounds. The standard and gold will do an average of 550, while the secondary will do 690. So, at this point, the PS has slightly better penetration on its armor piercing but the high explosive performance is exactly the same it doesn't look like at this point it doesn't look like you're getting a whole lot more for your 11,000 gold with the p cells the 490 has 3650 hit points the ps has 3600 so again 490 slightly more hit points uh, you know, the sort of the sort of difference that might save you from a fire. Eh, hit and miss. Not really that big a deal, to be honest. Both the PS and the 490 have a top speed, unboosted, of 72 kilometers an hour. The 490 has a view range of 485 meters, while the PS has 565 meters. And finally, the 490 has a still concealment value of 427 meters, while the PS comes in with 482 meters. So there you go. This is how the 490 compares to the PS at a very high level. The 490 has a slightly poorer gun, slightly more HP, can't see as far, but has better concealment. Doesn't sound like at this point it doesn't sound like the peace cells is worth eleven thousand more gold. But just bear with me here. These the, the, we need to dive deeper into the detailed stats for both of these tanks, and that is where the differences start to emerge. Both have an aim time of two point two seconds. The DPM of the four ninety is four thousand two hundred and sixty three. The DPM of the PS is 4,648. This is where we're starting to see differences. That is quite a big difference right there in the DPM. And that is what matters. It's quite a bit higher and that will have an impact in game. The accuracy of the 490 is 0.27. The accuracy of the PS is 0.26. 
The 490 has a standard reload of 8.6 seconds, while the PS has a standard reload of 7.1. So there you go. There is the answer to the DPM. The 490, its reload is 1.5 seconds slower than the PS. That's a big deal, especially in Era 3 when everything happens so fast. The 490 has 6 degrees of gun depression. The PS has 8 degrees. So again, doesn't sound like a lot. But when you put all of these slight differences together, when you put all of these together and one tank has a slight advantage in almost every area compared to the other, then, yeah, you're going to want to take the peace cells over the 490. But that's only true if you can spare the extra 11,000 gold. 11,000 gold is not cheap right now. I don't know how much that is, you know, monetary value. I don't know what that is, but it is not a small amount of money. So just keep that in mind. And this right here, everything that we've just mentioned, all these stats, all these details, this is why I think the 490 is the season reward tank. It's not bad, but as you can see, all these minor changes, all not changes, sorry, all these minor differences between the peace cells and the 490. This is where the this is where the peace cells just it's it strides past the 490. And in all honesty, I would expect it to because it's a full price premium. I wouldn't expect I would not expect a 6,000 gold tank to be better than something that you've spent you know 17,000 or whatever it is on it. I understand why this is the season reward tank. Right, let's take a look at the economy stats. The 490 has a 50% silver boost, a 25% tank XP boost, a 10% crew XP boost, and finally a 5% free XP boost. Those stats aren't amazing, but as you just saw at the end of that previous game, you can still earn upwards of 800,000 silver in a fairly good game. So, yeah, you don't need the 65% silver boost to earn decent silver in this thing. Which, again, is just another selling point. 6,000 gold, 800,000 silver in one game. There you go. Well, can't, can't go wrong, really, can you? Another thing to point out is that the 490 and the Leclerc are both very similar from an armor point of view. They both have great turret armor and decent frontal hull armor. But one thing I did find, I did notice about the 490, is that it has a 500mm plate behind the driver's compartment. 500mm is great, yeah, that really is quite good, uh, but it's inside the tank. Um, I guess that's good for protecting the turret crew and the ammo rack. Um, uh, but the, the, the poor driver doesn't get that, does he? <laughs> ah, poor guy. What can we say about that? Anyway, that is basically all I've got to say about this tank to be honest guys I don't think it's I don't think it's bad it really is not a bad tank it is it's comparable to the peace cells but it is it's a slight I would say it's a slightly worse version than the peace cells and as you can see here on release I thought I'd add this little bit to the video because we can't let this little graphical glitch go unnoticed this is going to live forever. Yeah, the, uh, the, the the factory fresh 3D skin on release meant that the hull of the tank disappeared in game, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> all right, guys, that is about all I've got for this one. The 490 is a is is well worth getting, in my opinion. I don't think you, you can't go wrong with it. Six thousand gold, you can't go wrong. It's a very good tank for that price, and that is all I've got for this one guys so if you've enjoyed the video please leave a like if not a dislike subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one